Hey guys and welcome to one day of analog street photography in Toronto. I will take you along and tell you the story behind some of those shots so you can see behind my workflow and maybe get some tips or ideas or inspiration for your own photography projects. I shot this series on my very first analog camera, the beginner-friendly Canon AE-1 with a 50mm lens and I loaded a film of Portra 800 um, because I love the colors and I wanted to have enough ISO to be prepared for all the conditions of that gloomy day in December. So now sit back, relax and get ready to capture some great moments on film in downtown Toronto. We arrived at Union Station and then we made our way towards the CN Tower because we wanted to start with the biggest tourist attraction first. For me as a Swiss person, just being in a big city like Toronto gives me so many photo opportunities because we're just not used to those sceneries like for instance this crosswalk where I took my first picture of the day. It was a perfect day for photography, the sky was cloudy but still had a really great texture so the next shot of the CN Tower here looks just nice. So it was a weekday and there were not a lot of people going up the CN Tower, so it was perfect for us, we just got our ticket and then headed straight up. And although I've seen it already a couple times, I just love this view over the rooftops of the skyscrapers. I guess most tourists would just put their phones up against the window, but I at least try to get some foreground and some depth in the picture. For the next shot, I accidentally pressed the film release button, which you normally do when you want to rewind your film, and that results in two exposures over the same frame. And it was quite a surprise because I didn't notice it when it happened, but the frames kind of match, so it's like a cool effect and I really like the shot. <laughs> we went up to the sky pod which is the highest point of the CN Tower that you can visit and it moves in the wind so you can even get a little motion sick up there I took two pictures one of the view and the highway and the other one was a portrait of Megan looking out of the window and once again I pressed the release button without noticing it, and those pictures got layered over each other. I had to take the mandatory tourist shot on the glass floor. I tried my luck and I took a picture through the windows when we were going down on the elevator. I was lucky it turned out great and my favorite part about the picture is the boat in the background.
We left the CN Tower and then we made our way towards Nathan Phillips Square, which is famous for the Toronto sign and during the winter they have a skating rink there. So I think it should be part of any Toronto tourist tour. This was the first time that day where I was challenged by the 50mm lens to somehow get everything in the frame. So I had to play around with some different angles until I finally found the perfect spot that combined the Toronto sign and the skating rink just perfectly. Since this is a tourist tour and I wanted to get the full Canadian experience, we had to make a little coffee and sandwich stop in one of the Tim Hortons around there. I was going for a shot from the middle of the intersection, so I prepared the shutter speed and the aperture before the lights turned green so I could be quick about it. I honestly don't know what this lady was doing, but somehow like unusual things make great pictures, so I went for it. It is also always a good idea to look straight up to find some good subjects. I captured this moment and I think it's just an interesting composition with all of those straight lines in the sky. That was a lucky find. There the airplane. Got it. I took a sneaky picture through the windshield in this Uber. Our next stop was the distillery district, which has a Christmas market every year. And it was pretty busy and therefore also quite difficult to find some nice picture spots. The strategy behind the next shot is to pick out uh, an action that happens in a moment, so the picture then tells the story. By the way, I am really sorry about all of those flickering lights. The GoPro is just not able to handle those situations very well. We had a little mulled wine break, and I honestly don't know how this affects my photography skills, but I'm sure it didn't do any harm.
I was waiting until blue hour to capture the main shot of the distillery district with all those beautiful lights and the famous sign in the background. When we were leaving the distillery district, I saw this boss saying happy holidays. And yeah, this is a very low hanging fruit. You just frame this symmetrically from the front. And like this, I got myself a nice little Christmas card for all my friends and family next year. So don't expect any other gifts. We totally got lost when we were looking for our Uber. So we took some wrong turns, but then all of a sudden ended up in a really great picture spot with the best view on the skyline and nice guiding lines left and right. And it was the perfect time for that shot. We got like blue hour with all the lights on. It came to me totally unexpected. And this is probably why this is my favorite shot of the day. For sure, Portra 800 works best during daylight, but when we got back to Union Station, I also wanted to try a few shots during nighttime with the city lights. So I started with this intersection here. And here comes the last shot of the day, before we then hop back into the GO train to go home. So that's it, that was my photo tour, and I hope by now you're inspired that you want to grab your own camera, get outside and capture some great stuff. If you have any questions or ideas that you would like to share with me, then just use the comment section. And don't forget to give me a thumbs up if you had a good time watching this video. If you want to see more of my photography, filmmaking and travel adventures, then subscribe to my channel and I will see you in my next video. Goodbye. Thanks for watching. <laughs>